Hello everyone, my name is Jose, uh, I am from Ecuador and I am doing this video just to share with you guys the project that I am building using Elixir, uh, using Phoenix Live View and show you uh, which are the capabilities that we have with Elixir and with uh, Live View so, and create this kind of applications. So the project, uh, it's not an open source project, it's private and it's in Spanish, so I will try to show the project uh, in English. Sorry for my bad English. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, the idea of the project is create a kind of Shopify um, so that anyone that needs an online store can create an, an store uh, following uh, a few steps. So um, basically the, 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 the idea is have a place where an, a user can have their products uh, for example let's create a new product here yep let's add an description okay uh, i am going to add some pictures Let's change the product states product state to active and add the product to some collections. Yeah. So the product also have other things like inventory and variants. Uh, but yeah, this is the basic a basic product. And we have also a place uh, where we can manage the orders, filter orders and process the orders so let's create an order for example uh, find a client this is the uh, invoicing information i am going to add some products okay let's add the product that we create okay yeah, so I can mark this order as a paid order so that we can start with the process to deliver the order. Uh, we have other section like clients and also each store can have their own subdomain. Uh, I'm going to change this one to, um, I don't know, game store. Yep, and we can also open the the the, the, all the the store and see how it looks like so this is how it looks like and uh, we have this main page and uh, which with a with some banners uh, there is also a couple of a couple of collections here and we can admin this section in, in this part uh, okay so we have some banners here i can change the order uh, we can edit the banners okay and also we can change the colors of the store so let's change the primary color to the yellow the header let's choose this one the for the surface i'm going to use this one and for the background let's use this black for some information i'm going to use this green color okay so this is the coolest thing that you can do with live view is not you don't have you don't have to reload the work page all of the patch events that you can use with live view uh, make this possible so you, the scroll uh, is in the same position and you can update things uh, pretty cool so yeah and this is if I reload the store this is how it looks like now it's using the new colors as you can see um, yeah so other cool thing is if I open up open a product I have this model window in the same in the same context of the page I am still in the home page so basically the customer can navigate uh, for the for the products in in the same page 
so we have a other section here with the catalog with the products where the customer can filter the products um, and obviously if it's an online store uh, the customer can add the product to the shopping cart and increase the quantity yep let's find another product with some variants uh, yeah let's add this variant we have another one and we can increase the quantity too and we can go to to the payment section where the customer will fill their information create the order choose a payment method um, yeah and basically the order will appear here so that the owner of the of the store can process the order and yeah deliver the product so this is the project guys um the idea of the video as i say this just show you show you which things you can build using phoenix uh, using elixir using live view so thanks for watching um sorry the project is not an open source project but um it's probably that i will be creating some videos to do some specific things for example how you can create those filters which is basic a library but it's really useful or maybe give you some ideas how you can organize your code use some subcontexts and things like that so yeah thank you so much guys and see you next time